And do you know you are on the camera, Stella? Everyone is listening to you. T tell my people something. Say something to our cameras. No, 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 we can take our cameras. Just to share that life. Yeah, you can say something. Congratulations, my darling brother. I am very happy for you, and there is no exit on this one. Amen. Oh, raga da ga da ga da ga maga dishia. Tap tap screen. Thank you. Because I don't think you could ever get a better girl than that. Sure, she's the only better girl in this world. Praise the Lord, Stella. You know you are better at me. You have confused me with your betters. <laughs> Stella. Thank you, my sister. Tap tap screen, send some gift. <laughs> Sawa. Karibu sana. Stella officially appreciated and welcome. Yeah, thank you. Cut the phone. Cut your phone. Ilikuwa ni shuke chini, lakini neema yake ikanibeba juju. Niache ni niringe. Hai. Niache ni niringe. Ame ni beba mie. Oh, 
Yesu ambeni tunza mimi Niko na Yesu mimi ni mali ya Leo ni expect uh, ikuwe ni siku ya furaha Mungu ametupatia weather mzuri na pia ni expect marafiki zangu marafiki wengi sana na pastors wembaji na watutajika katika hii event na pia ni expect ikuwe ni siku ya baraka sana maana ni siku ambayo Mungu alimpanga i can recall uh, 2014 nikiimba wimbo wa kitole ili mention the word arusi yangu wataweka kitole and i trust God and believe today is the day that people are going to 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 kuweka hiyo sign na wakubali kwamba God has done it. Na Mungu ni mwaminifu sana pia leo na expect yeye mashairi bila tekea. Eh ni jambo mashairi mrembo sasa she is the only die yule mrembo duniani naweza naweza sema ni mrembo. Na yeye bila tatokea ajimwaye pale mlimani akishuka. Yaani ni furahi furahi moyo wangu. She has been a blessing to my life. We have been together for 60 years and it's not an easy uh, task to be on a mungu kupitia mambo yote despite the challenges that we have encountered in life we have seen the hand of the lord na pia we thank god for our beautiful daughter shayn kasono she's a blessing to us na tukiona shayn tunaonanga mungu vile anaweza tena when we got when, wakati tulipata ball ya shayn atuku decide kutoa ile ball maana tulisema hiyo mtoto ni wa baraka kwa maisha yetu atatoa heli aibu itubebe kwa muda lakini siku moja watu waone kiumbe ambacho tulisave maana wanalika wengi wavya mimba na maybe wanaingia kwa ndoa wanasema they are they are okay and they are they are maybe fresh but ina baki kwa mind ya kwamba tulihavya mimba so we are proud of our daughter and we thank god and we pray that god will give us watoto wengi 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 nataka kuitwa baba wa mataifa going to bless these kids forever and ever. That they are going to be a living testimony not only to people who are going to witness, but to people who are going to watch it online and people who are going to view of their beautiful memories in days to come further. May you continue making them a pillar to be emulated by many youth and many people far and wide Father. We thank you. Grace Wed Kasolo. So it means anaolewa. Na tumeamua siku ya leo tusherekee na yeye. Today is on Saturday, mwezi wa 4, making it officially Kasolo being taken. Kasolo imeenda, 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 imeenda bwana. Imeenda bwana. Imeenda bwana. Acha na moyo. Na moyo.
Okay, hi guys, my name is Grace Mbeneka and I'm so excited today because it's my wedding day. I have been waiting for this day like forever. Finally going to meet my husband. I thank God. I'm, I'm expecting to have a really beautiful day and a joyful day. Actually, I'm being like this because it's my dream wedding. Leo ni siku yako. Tunakufurahia. Tunakushangilia. Mungu awabariki na familia. Jema in Jesus name I bless you. 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 In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Tunasema ni asante maana Mungu unaweza. Tunasema ni asante maana Mungu unaenda kutenda, unaenda kuchangulia kila jambo, unaenda kutuongoza katika 
kila jambo bwana huyu ndio nopewe sifa bwana tunashukuru maana we Mungu unastahili kwa maisha yetu na tuna wengine wa kuangalia ni wewe tu chioba uimidiwe nopewe sifa siku zote na ni kwa jina la Yesu tumeomba na kuamini na mtu akaseme
mwaka mingine tukasutwa Ila mwaka huu Jehova utatusaidia Vitu vitu vilivyo ni wana tuna utuzige na faroni Mwaka huu Jehova utavirejesha Kilio tulicholia tutapanguzwa matozi Aibu ilio tupata wana utaondoa Thank you. Take 
Ekova, hapi changwa na vigele gele. Ni kama, sijui kama watu wamekuja na uhivu wama nini. Tafadhali, wapi changwa na vigele gele. Harusi tunayo hatuna. Ah, abu angalia na iba muambie, tuko kwa harusi. Tuko eka, tuko eka. Mengara kumara Siapa tadi wapi vige tagele ya Mama Grace Nikama watu wameta wivu wapa Vige legele Kwa selele Selele Wapi vige legele Aya watu
Unajua wewe hauna wivu. Wapi shangwe na vigelegele? Ya Stevie Kasoro. Mimi na kama kusema aiwe. Sema akianga. Sema asi. Sema nini nini? Wapi vigelegele? Rafiki yangu Kasoro. Congratulations my brother. Congratulations. Naomba sababu tu ya masa Kasolo wewe ini this is a royal wedding. Kutokalie hapa kama mtoto wa mfalme hapo. Usikae chini simama tu hapo. Ehe. Sasa bridal team na venye mko wengi, tuingie tu hapo tujipange. If we get to see your more than those seats that tuingie tu hapa hivi tukae chini. Wengine wapale after Kasolo. This is a royal wedding. Kasolo I'm grateful. This is wonderful. Tupigieni kasoto makofi tena tafadhali. This guy is full of favor. Amebarikiwa kweli. Sasa tukiwa tumesimama hivyo kila mtu asimame. Kila mtu asimame. Ni kama tafanya ya harusi watu walitokiwa wamesimama. Because even the bridal team wanakuja na psych. Ladies and gentlemen. Wapi makofi ya bridal team? <laughs> Looking on standing, the man looking on shop. 
Waimbaji wengine wako wapi jamani? Si nisaidie tu na makofi yako kama wewe si mchawi na urogani. Unapiga tu makofi pole pole kwa raha zako. Piga tu. Piga tu. Piga tu. Piga tu. Ongeza makofi kidogo. Piga tu. Piga tu. Sauti ya beat. Piga tu. The one who is worthy to be praised Big some closing us for Jesus Now because of time I want 
to give this microphone to our father. He's not just a bishop. He has preached for many years. I used to watch him on TV, listen, him, listen to him in radios. Nikamuona kwa those times, kukwana many magazines, not like these days. And Bishop Obonyo is a great father. Come on, kuna revelation. Weka mikono juu vizuri. If I can get another microphone in Yakjatumia, he is a father. Weka mikono juu. Weka tayarisha vizuri. Tayarisha vizuri. Tayarisha vizuri. Ladies and gentlemen, for a father in the nation, wapi makofia, Bishop Obonyo! Bishop Obonyo. This is louder. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Can we give him another praise offering? Amen. Amen. Thank you very much MC. Tupigeni makofi MC mzuri. Hiyo makofi haitoshi. Amen. Kasolo, this is the day you are waiting for. At few minutes time, you will be going home with a legal wife. Amen. A legal wife. Amen. Let us pray. Our dear Holy Father, we want to thank you and bless you for this day and also for this occasion. We pray that Lord, even as we continue, you be with us. Bless us and bless this ceremony. Bless our brother and our sister as they solemnize this wedding. I pray that you start with them and walk with them and glorify yourself in all that they do. In Jesus' name, I do pray. Amen. Shout a big amen. amen. Without wasting any time, I would like to go straight to the joining of the wedding. And before I do that, Nataka Niseme, congratulations to Kasolo. Stephen Kasolo, this is a big day for you. And our sister, uh, the wife, great Mbene Mwendo. God bless you so much. Let's clap our hands for them. Amen. I would like to request whoever is presenting the lady. I thank God because the parents are my good friends. I've known them for years now and they are ministers of the gospel so i feel very much at home so i would like the parents to take hold of their daughter's hands and bring her close while casolo is also brought here by the parents in the name of jesus christ and as they come i would like you to clap your hands and celebrate them in the name of jesus christ amen you may be seated the rest of us we can be seated I would like Casolo to also be brought here in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You need some music to bring them to bring them. Amen. DJ. Amen. Bwana sifiwe. Tunapongojia DJs tupige makofi tena. Aya. Dio yo. Aya. Anza kutembea sasa. Nanga 
Amen. Amen. Dear friends, we are gathered here today before the Almighty God and this wonderful congregation to join this man today, Stephen Mutua Kasolo, and this woman, Grace Mbeneka Mwendo, in the holy state of marriage, which the Apostle Paul declares should be honored by all men. For this reason, it is not good that any man should enter into this state hurriedly or without careful consideration, but with carefulness and in the fear of God. These two people want to enter into this holy state. And if there be any man or any woman sent or self-representing that would show why they may not be joined together lawfully, but they should declare it now or ever afterwards, remain silent. I would like to ask this wonderful question. Is there anyone in this congregation that has come with another intention to stop this wedding or to claim uh, Kasolo or to claim uh, this late great. If you are here, please can you stand up and raise your hand so that we can uh, show you where to sit. <laughs> Amen. Kuna kizirani yoyote? Akuna. Kama akuna, boys in black, relax. There's no job today. Let's, let's clap our hands and celebrate these people. Amen. Bwana Yesu wasifiwe. Now, I would like also to ask the two of them, before we continue and before we do anything, uh, to ask them whether they still have that uh, calling to continue with this wedding. Because we live in a time when revelations come. Maybe in the night, Kasolo got a revelation. And we don't know. So, Kasolo, what do you think? Should we continue? Yes, let's continue. Kapisa. Kapisa, ya ni sana. All right. Mumezikia Kasolo, mumezikia sauti. Sijamendi tupike makofi. Amen. Aya, tuje kwa grace. Grace, unamnaji. Tuendele ama kuna maono mapia. Tuendele. Kabisa. Kabisa. Tuende embe. Pio. Pio. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Makofi kwa grace. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. So, we would like to request uh, the parents of grace. Today, you brought your daughter in broad daylight to give her over officially uh, before every eye that we're seeing here today to give her over to uh, Stephen Casolo. So we'd like you to hold her hands and step forward and hand her over officially to this gentleman. I can see he is very ready and I can see the parents are holding him tight. But this time, this is the moment when the feet begin to fellowship. So he needs a lot of support. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Na kasolo unasemaji. Umepewa mschana leo kirasmi. Mimi na jihisi kuheshimika sana. Yes. Tumisani mrengo sana. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now, as they are holding uh, the hands of the lady, I would like to ask the parents to speak words of blessings to their children at this moment in Jesus name because marriage is not only the joining together of two individuals it's also a joining together of two families the care support and nurture 
which have been extended to the groom and bride by their families is as important now as it has ever been. It needs to be extended now to include another person. Both of the families are going to release their blessings to their children in the name of Jesus Christ. And we will begin with the ladies tight and we begin with the ladies first. So mama Nami na chukua na fasi hii Kushukuru mungu kwa umbali huu Kweli kabisa ni ebeneza Na tunampa utukufu Ni kwa ajili yake Tuko hapa leo Steve Unajua wenu mtoka wangu Even before Tumetoka mbali And today We are very much honored To offer Yani kikamba tuika There is a very powerful word ya kikamba Yo inapotea But na heza sema Nito wa kutenga Tumekupatia mtoto wetu Kutoka kwa mire yetu Kae vizuri Wakati wa majie yote Kae vizuri Kae vizuri Nae mungu Anae ishi peke yake Yeye si mwanadamu. I speak blessing over you as from today in Jesus name. Amen. I hope kasolo umesikia moyo wa mama. Amen. Amen. Let us hear moyo wa baba pia akiongea. Moyo wa baba. Ah, uh, siku ya leo nime uh, kupatia grace my first born without conditions na ninakubariki kama mtumishi wa Mungu hii iwe ndoa ya kwanza ya muimbaji itakayo ndumu milele na Mungu anayebariki awabariki kila siku na kila wakati hautawahi kosa chochote jambo lingine ni ya kwamba kutoka leo kama mzazi na kama mchungaji natangaza ya kwamba katika uandilifu utaenda one not i in your celebrity in your music profession na utatumtumikia Mungu na siku ya leo nimekubariki ukae na huyu mtoto wangu jambo la mwisho katika hii ndoa yenu leo nimewazaa nyote na nimekukumbali kama mwanangu wa kiume karibu nyumbani uwe sehemu hata ya urithi wa nyumba yetu na jamii yetu nimekubariki na nimekupea kwa moyo wangu wote nawe grace maana tumekulea tukiwa wa huduma dumisha jamii muleane vizuri mkae vizuri watu wengi husema ya kwamba wasanii ni watu wasioaminika Naomba Kenya na dunia mzima hii hiwe jamii ya msanii wa kwanza atakayeaminika na kukaa maisha ya kiungo. Nimewabariki, nimewabariki na nitawaombea kila siku ninapopumua. Mungu awabariki. Nipa tumepata kitu chema. Chema. Great ninapaidi ya kwamba vile ako wametupa mchana tunaenda kuku Amen Umesikia microphone ilikuwa inakatakata ebu ebu rudia tena labda ukirudia utakuwa na maneno mengine zaidi yes. Amen Nasi tumepokea hii baraka tumepewa mchana na shukurani nyingi Nina nena baraka sipitao kiasi kwa maisha yenu. Gresi tumekukubali. Wewe ni tunda letu. Tuna kutunza, tuta kufanya mambo mema. Na nina nena baraka katika ndoa yenu. Mukabarikiwe na mkafanikiwe na mwenyezi mungu. Aishie maali pake paju. Karibu na nikana kupatia kitu ukakalie yote. Usikalie kiti nusu nusu. Nenda uketi kabisa kabisa. Amen. Bwana Zwe sana. Ukae kwa kiti full. 
Amen. Aya, tusikie tusikie mzee akinena baraka kwa watoto wake katika jina la Yesu. Asanteni uh, sana kwa nafasi. Uh, na mimi ni nimekubali Grace uh, kwa nyumba yangu na mimi ninaongea tu very brief na ni kama vile Skovu amesema uh, wote wawili mtampatia yeye alafu tutaendelea sandini eh asante sana wote wawili watashare tu haleluya basi mimi hufanya mambo kulingana na jinsi naongozwa nitauliza eh askofu aombe aombe baba maombi kwa watoto wake alafu upande huu mtachagua nani ataomba mchungaji ataomba ombi baraka kwa watoto wake katika Mungu unayehisi milele ulisema ni wewe mwenye kubariki na wale umebariki awalaaniki milele Tunaachilia baraka za kiungu juu ya awa wawili ambao leo watakuwa mwili mmoja. Tunawabariki wabarikiwa na baraka za watoto, baraka za mali, baraka za kihafya na tunawabariki kwa baraka kabisa. Kutoka leo hakuna laana wala maneno machafu yatakayotua kwao. Leo tumewatenga, tumewawekea mikono ya baraka ya kwamba watakuwa wamebarikiwa chochote watakacho tamani wa kutumikie watapata utajiri wa kutumikie roho mtakatifu kwa ajili ya ibada watakuwa naye kila siku watapata watoto wa kiume na wa kike na wamebarikiwa na tumewabariki katika nia moja moyo moja na kwa roho moja kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tumewabariki Mungu wetu Ulie njuu mbinguni tunasema ni asante kwa wema wako kwa uku wako kwa baraka zako tunakushukuru kwa sababu tunajua ni kwa sababu ya neema yako tumesimama mahali hapa kwa ajili ya Stephen and Grace Mungu tunasema uinuliwe uambudiwe na upewe sifa kwa sababu hii ni tendo lako na hakuna anaweza kutenda vile ulitenda Jehova Mungu wa mbinguni tunawakambili hawa wawili mbele zako mfalme Stephen and Grace O oh Lord tukiomba neema yako na baraka zako zikawe juu ya wao wanapoenda kuanzisha mboma yao mfalme tunaomba baba wetu wa mbinguni ukawaongoze tunaomba baba wetu wa mbinguni ukawaongoze na tunaomba nguvu zako zikawese kutamalaki katika mboma yao na katika maisha yao bwana Mungu ni wawe tu na hakuna mwingine twanena baraka katika maisha yao twanena neema katika maisha yao bwana watakapokuwa wanaendelea na kuishi njeoba Mungu tunaomba uku wako na nguvu zako zikawe pamoja na wao uinuliwe uambudiwe na upewe sifa na ni kati ka jina kula Yesu Kristo tumehomba na kuamini. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Tuwapigeni wazazi makofi wanapowaacha watoto wao sasa kwa mikono yangu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wanaporudi kabla mjenda kuketi simsalimiane wazazi kwa wazazi. Amen. Msichomoke tu kama mshale msalimiane. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Mke Daniel, mke Daniel. Yai. Azai magaidan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Basi sasa tuko hapa na Kasolo, Stephen Mutua Kas Grace Mbeneka Mwendo. Ili tuweze kuwaunganisha katika ndoa takatifu. Na kabla wazazi hawajatokomea, wanaenda. Kabla hawajatokomea Steven umeletewa msichana amefunikwa na nasoma katika maandiko mahali fulani kuna mtu aliletewa msichana na kumbe haikuwa ni yeye ilikuwa ni dada yake so nataka ufunue uso huo uangalie kweli kama ni yeye 
ama kama sio ye kabla wazazi wajatukumea so that tuweze kujua tutaendelea ama tutaendelea amen <laughs> amen unaona je ni yeye ama Amen. Weka microphone hapa karibu. Ni yeye ama sio yeye? Kabisa. Amen. Hata nimeona inathibitisha kwamba ni yeye. Basi usiache mkono, shikilia mkono. Jina la Yesu. Swali na ukikubaliana nami uta yes, I do. Uh, with me in the name of Jesus Christ. Covenant with one Grace Mbeneka Mwendo to receive her as your wife and to accept her as God's gift to you to be her husband to join yourself to her as one flesh protect her, provide for her and to encourage her in the Lord do you promise to forsake all others and cleave only to her do you promise to be true and loyal to her until God by death separates you? Yes, I do. Amen. Amen. Umesikiaje hiyo? Yes, I do. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Now it is your turn. Amen. Grace Mbeneka Mwendo, do you this day, 15th of April 2023, covenant with Stephen Mutua Kasolo to accept him as your husband and as God's gift to you, to be his wife, to join yourself to him as one flesh, to love him, to submit to him as the head of your household, to honor him, to respect him, to care for him, and to become his helper, and to encourage him in the Lord. Do you promise to forsake all others and cleave only to him? Do you promise to be true and loyal to him until God by death separates you? Yes, I do. Amen. Hiyo kwanza iko na energy. Mnasaili kupigia makofi zaidi. Amen. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. Now I want you to confess to each other and tell each other these wonderful words. And I want you to tell each other with a lot of confidence. And a lot of love, look at each other in the eye and tell each other these words. And I will start with Kasolo. Where is the microphone? I, Stephen Mutua Kasolo. I, Stephen Mutua Kasolo. Today. Today. Take you, Grace Mbeneka Mwendo. Take your grace, Beneka Mwendo. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To live with you from this day forward. To live with you from this day forward. Through all the changes of life. Through all the changes of the of the world. Of, of life. Of life. For better for us. For better for us. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Grace. Grace. I will love you. I will love you. I want you to repeat that part and repeat it more confidently. You see, she is looking at you now. Yes. Yes. Grace. Grace. I will love you. I will love you. And you say it in Gigamba. Gilesi Mwendwa. Mwanga Gwendawa. Makofi Jameni. 
And I will care for you. I will care for you. Amen. Mm. As long as we both shall live. As long as the both of us shall live. And so I give you my promise. And so I give you my promise. Amen. Amen. Wow. Mm. I, I have seen Grace brighten up. And she became more happier. What, what happened? What do you, how do you feel, Grace? I feel honored. Amen. Yes. Amen. And very happy. Very, very happy. Actually, I'm emotional because of happiness. I'm not sad. Yes, I know. Just happy. Yeah, the tears are for happiness. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. We thank God. Amen. Now it is your turn. You look at him and tell him these words. I, Grace Mbeneka Mwendo. Hi, I, Grace Mbeneka Mwendo. Today, Today, I take you. I take you. Stephen Mutua Kasolo. Stephen Mutua Kasolo. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To live with you from this day forward. To, be, to live with you from this day forward. Through all the changes of life. Through all the changes of life. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. I will love you as I always am. Aha. Uh -huh. Did you hear the last words? She said, I will love you as I've always done. done. Amen. Amen. And I will honor you. And I will honor you. And obey you. And obey you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we shall live. And so I give you my promise. And so I give you my promise. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Can I hear some shouts? <laughs> Amen. Do you have anything to exchange as a pledge of the vows you have made today? Yes. Yes. Can we have them come? Amen. you can give me? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. I will take it later. Thank you very much. Let's clap for her. Beautiful angel. Shine. God bless you, Shine. Amen. She even knows where she works. Amen. We have rings here. And these rings are a sign of the vows that they are making to each other that they will exchange the rings have no beginning and no ending the rings are precious and the rings have a signet of their names in them we pray that every time you look at the rings you'll remember the vows you've made today you will appreciate each other you'll value each other and you will always 
look up to Jesus, for he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Father, we thank you for these rings. I pray that you bless these rings as they mark and also remind them of their vows. May these rings, O oh God Almighty, be blessed of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, you are the one who began this story. I want you to look for good words, beautiful words. Tell her. It's a free will. Amen. Uh, Grace, my love, you have stood by my side. You have gone with me. Wherever I go, you have been a support. You have, you have, you have supported my ministry from day one. Na kwa hili naweza sema ya kwamba moyo wako ni mkubwa. Wakati ulipata mimba ya mtoto wangu, haukuhavya. Ulitunza. Tungehavya hiyo mimba na leo hii tudanganye watu ya kwamba hatujai fanya dhambi. Tulipitia wakati mgumu na tukamwomba Mungu siku moja tutafanya harusi kwa maana tumesamehewa. Umenipa mtoto mzuri shai na hiyo ni heshima kubwa sana na kupenda sana. Wewe ni mwanamke bora kuliko wanawake duniani. Una roho ya dhahabu. Yale mambo umevumilia. Mwanamke mwingine huenda ikawa haiwezi akavumilia. Nitakutunza kama uwa la kondeni. Nitakuvika vazi la heshima mbele ya wanawake wote. Wanawake wengi waliniangaisha ila wewe umetuliza moyo wangu. Bwana akubariki nitakupenda mke wangu. Tuzae watoto wazuri kama shai. Yaani watoto wetu watakuwa wanaandaliwa tu. <laughs> Thank you I love you mama. Wow. Those statements are heavy. They go back in history. And they are a reflection of a clean and a open heart. I appreciate you people. God bless you. It is your turn. How do you feel first before you even take the ring? Wewe wada. Mimi tena sangori. Amen. You. Amen. Now it's your turn. Take the ring and put it in his hand, in his finger. And look for the best words you can give to him. nitakutunza nitakupenda kwa wakati wowote uh, wakati wa furaha wakati wa changamoto nitakutunza nitakuwa pamoja na wewe hata kukuwe na challenge gani katika hii maisha nitakutunza na watoto wangu nakupenda sana naweza kuwa sina mambo mengi ya kusema lakini hata unajua nakupenda i love you amen wow Everyone Hallelujah. This is a joyful wedding, a happy wedding. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I would like us to uh, pray for for this couple. Uh, if there is anything to lay down for them to kneel down, uh, let it come quickly in Jesus' name so that we can be able to pray for them. Amen. Pr 
Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So I would like to ask the pastors who are here. We have uh, Reverend Musembi is here all the way from Nakuru. Amen. God bless you. Come and join us. Any pastor that is here, please join us. Just come so that we can be able to bless this uh, couple uh, with the prayers this afternoon in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory to God. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name because of Stephen and Grace. Jehovah, this journey they have begun. How we pray you will crown it with glory. May you bless them with abundance. May you bless them with peace in their marriage. May you bless them with faithfulness and love. May you surround them with goodness. Father, we remind you of your covenant. It is not good for a man to be alone. I pray in this unison, they shall love one another. We rebuke any power of the enemy. We rebuke forces of witchcraft. We rebuke bad words. We rebuke the spirit of poverty. We come against premature death. We come against spirits of wickedness. Maro yote, ya kuingili andoa, tunayakanya, nitwa mapanea, sitwa niya yesu, nitwa kanya mabeba mabuku, nitwa nangavina wa ndaimoni, nitwa nangavina wa maimu, mabeba monde na mawoi, na mawasia monde maeta imena, nitwa nanga, nitwa kuwa izembeo, siondese akuma mutongune, shakuma kitui, shakuma kilabandu, shakuete imena, shakuete nzuko, shakuete migawanyiko, nitwa sia nanga, sitwa niya yesu, patanga azothe wangai, Yoba manenge siana, manenge siana mbinge, masia emunuta kiembe, manenge yoba ulau, noi manenge ngo ya kuenda, noi manenge uthukumi waku, uthukumi ya yoba maka uthukume, zituwa ni ya yesu ituwa boya tuikia. Baba katika jina la yesu kristo, tunakushukuru kwa hii ndoa, ambao ni mpia kabisa duniani, tunashukuru kwa ajili ya kasolo na grace. Tunatangaza ya kwamba wataishi milele. Maroho ambazo huandama wa sani. Zinaanza kuvunja ndoa. Sasa hibi tunazishika mateka. Tunaziamurisha kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Zisiwe na nafasi katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Maroho zote ambazo hui uingilia. Doa za watumishi wa mungu. Zikipiga huduma. Leo tumetangaza haziko katika hii ndoa katika jina la Yesu Kristo za hii ndoa walivyo tabiriwa na baba yao walivyo kumbewa ya kwamba itaishi haita kufa tunakanya divorce tunakanya separation katika jina la Yesu hata wakati wale wakati bao wakugombana kama vile mwanamuke na mwanamume wanagombananga hawata gombana katika chuki watagombana katika upendo ili hii nyumba iishi ili hii ndoa iishi katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza kama nalaana zozote za kiuko kutoka kwa kasolo hii hazina uwezo any generational altar any generational cases any generational patterns that follow people when they get married hear the word of the lord you are not invited in this marriage you are here but nullified you are here by counseled you are here by deleted by the blood of jesus in jesus mighty name tunatangaza kasoro afike mahali wazazi wake wakufika grace atafika mahali wazazi wake kufika katika china la yesu kristo watatajirika kuliko wazazi wao wakainuliwe kuliko wazazi wao wapata watoto kuliko wazazi wao watoto wao wamebarikiwa watakuwa watoto wazuri watakuwa watoto walio eshimika katika china la yesu kristo tunatangazia mikoma yao ulivyo waunganisha pamocha wacha wakatengeneze pesa wacha utajiri ukaishi kwa hii nyumba Tunakanya umasikini Tunakanya umasikini Hata kama wamelelewa na umasikini Kwa ajili ya kuungana siku ya leo Kwa 
kwenye madhabahu haya matakatifu kama mume na mke tunafanya umaskini na tunatangaza utajiri wa gari tunatangaza utajiri wa mashamba tunatangaza utajiri wa nyumba tunatangaza utajiri wa kila mali wanaotamani duniani kabla waondoke hii dunia wacha wakaingie kwenye rekodi ya billionaires kwa ajili inawezekana katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza huduma zao zimebarikiwa huduma zao zimelindwa hakuna huduma itakaoanguka hapa itaendelea juu na kwa ajili wamevuka levo nyingine huduma zao zimevuka levo nyingine katika jina la Yesu Kristo wa wivu na midomo mbaya leo tumewakanya hakuna siraha iliyoinuliwa juu ya hawa aidha ya kiuchawi aidha ya mudomo ama mishare ya giza itakao faulu katika hii ndoa kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunatangaza ulivyoanzisha mwanzo mpya kwao chapter mpya kwao bana na wao neema ikawatoshe neema ya ndoa ikawatoshe upendo wa hii ndoa ulioanzia siku ya leo kuona tunaomba ikazidi kukua hakuna siku itapungua katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunawaombea afya njema tunawaombea afya njema na maisha marefu washibishe kwa maisha marefu tunatangaza shaini amebarikiwa Ame, amekuwa na wazazi wazuri duniani shaini amebarikiwa ndugu zake watakao kuja nyuma ya kwa wamebarikiwa wasiwai kosa hao watoto katika jina la Yesu Kristo hii ndoa imebarikiwa hapa duniani na mbinguni itajulikana imebarikiwa itaandikika imebarikiwa katika jina la baba katika jina la mwana na roho mtakatifu tumeomba na watu wote waseme amen na sasa baba tunatangaza hii familia kwamba itabarikiwa kimataifa panua mipaka yao Panua mipaka ya kihuduma. Panua mipaka ya watoto wao. Panua mipaka ya kazi zao. Hata utajiri wao panua mipaka. Waene katika dunia mzima. Jina la kasolo liinuke. Inuke kwa ajili ya jina la Mungu. Itakayo shikanishwa nayo itakuwa ni jina ya Mungu wake. Asante mfalme wa amani maana umesikia maombi yetu. Na zaidi sana Bwana wafunike na nguvu zako. Wafunike na uweza wako. Wafunike Bwana na damu ya Yesu Kristo. Wafunike macho ya adui. Any spirit that is a monitoring spirit will never see them in the name of Jesus and they will always prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you thanks and praise. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And now today officially they have waited for this day. They have prayed for this day. They have fasted for this day. They have dreamt of this day. And therefore today I'm honored to stand here and declare officially in the name of the Father of the Son and of the Holy Spirit that Kasolo and Grace are officially a husband and wife and that which God has joined together let no one nobody no demon no power no altar no Facebook. Yes. Put us under. They will remain married until Jesus comes. In Jesus' name. Now, Kasolo officially. Yo wakati ingine yote ulikuwa meiba. Leo umepewa kirasmi. Ndiyomana wazazi wako hapa na kila mmoja. Now, this is your wife. You can, you can kiss your wife. Hallelujah. Kula nyamukuyo Yeni yuni mekwa Siakini jatanga 
Now we want to see them sign their certificate. So I would like Kasolo to lead his wife to this table. Kasolo atasimama atembeze mke wake mpaka hapa katikati mahali watu wote wanaweza kumuona alafu tuwakapidhi certificate yao ama title deed yao ya harusi yao amen bwana yesu asifiwe tuwapigeni makofi jameni amen hallelujah kasolo anaonekana kijana mzuri is very careful with the wife amen bwana asifiwe sana basi ni nafasi yangu nzuri ya kuwapatia certificate of their marriage today on the 15th of april 
2023. Amen. 2023. Atuone mahali ataiweka. Mama hii ndio sasa title deed ya hiyo hiyo nyumba. E, tuone vile unajua kuweka kama unajua kuweka mahali pazuri. I can uh, preach to you about marriage, but I can just remind you of a few points that are of importance. Marriage is a very sacred institution, and God is the one who instituted marriage. And because it began with God, anything that God begins, the very first enemy is the devil. Because the devil hates anything that God does. So the enemy will always try to fight the institution of marriage. And even today, you can see it. The fight is gone to another level. To an extent that now, he has introduced another system of marriage. Where people marry same sex. We condemn that with the strongest terms possible. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Praise be to the name of the Lord. And so this subject of marriage, we need to examine it more keenly every day. And try to work around it. To cultivate it. So that it can work for us. We are all products of men and women. Praise God. And we are also in marriages. I thank God because... Uh, I am also in marriage. Amen? For the last 33 years of God's grace in my marriage. And by the way, my wife sent her greetings. Buona sifiwe. There are marriage killers that I will just mention a few of them. And then I pray. 
and leave the program to the MC. Marriage killers. There are things that happen around us that suffocate marriage and causes marriage to die slowly. One of them is over commitment. Over commitment. We know, Kasolo, you are a national figure. We know, Grace, you are also likewise a national figure because of Kasolo and in your own rights. Amen. Be careful that overcommitment does not lead to the destruction of your marriage. Create time to be together. Quality time to talk, play, plan, and pray. Amen. Create that time and you will see your marriage gradually increase. What are some of the areas that we can be over committed? Business. When you are running around for your business, you are in Turkey. From Turkey, you go to China. From China, you go to Kampala. From Kampala, you are Johannesburg. There is no time for your marriage. No time for your husband. No time for your wife. Gradually, you become commoners in the same house. Munapitana bila kuhisi chochote. Munalala mmeangalia kila moja upande wake. Maisha inaendelea sawa sawa maana hisia zimekufa. Build time together. Business you can always be a, a planner of your business. Job you can also have people who are overcommitted in their jobs. They work the whole day. And they carry job home. You carry your computer home. You are in the bedroom with your computer. You are adding those figures. You are talking to yourself. Even in your dreams, you are just dreaming of your job. Social services, religious activities, engagements, programs. Kazolo, you are from one crusade to another function. You are running from one place to another. Listen, the bouncing place where you can bounce well and have a wonderful music ministry is your marriage. When everything is okay here, even your singing, we will know that singing is full of joy. We don't want people who can sing and start crying, not because of the Holy Spirit, but because of problems at home. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sporting activities and being workaholics. Over commitments. When you are over committed in something, there will be no time for your spouse, no romantic life between couples, no time to stay with and train your children, no time for family worship and God's word, no time for personal spiritual nourishment. No time to share and plan together on the things of your family and even self-development. It will result in lack of control, wayward children, promiscuity, indiscipline, loneliness, separation, and eventually divorce. Say amen. What are the remedies? Organize your time. Plan creatively and constructively. Do one thing well at a time. Deliberately make out time to spend with your family. That is enemy number one. Number two, unforgiving spirit. It can kill a marriage, unforgiving spirit. Do you know that we are all products of forgiveness? I stand here as a witness that I was forgiven of my sins. I was not born as a preacher. I was born like everybody else. But a time came, I had the gospel, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and I was forgiven of my sins. When I got married, it doesn't, matter, it doesn't really mean that my marriage is, is fault-free. We differ. At times we differ on a Sunday morning before I go to church. Hallelujah. Amen. At times we differ even after fasting and praying. All right? At times we differ 
when I'm reading the Bible and I'm getting ready to go and preach. But what really makes a difference is not the difference that we have, but the forgiveness that we forgive each other. Praise be to God. Look at your neighbor and say, you are a product of forgiveness. Some of you were forgiven this morning before you came to the wedding. Jesus says in Mark chapter 11 verse 25 to 26, And when you stand praying, forgive if you have ought against any, that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive your trespasses. Ephesians 4 31 Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice and be ye kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Casolo, the woman sitting next to you is not an angel, she's a human being. Amen. And you also, this man is a man before he became a man of God. That's why there is a man of God. First, he is a man before he becomes a man of God. We are given to faults and failures, but we depend on forgiveness. When you are forgiven, you can also forgive. Praise be to God. Don't hold grudges. Don't hold grudges, and especially women or ladies. If there is a gender that has clear and very, very, memo very sharp memory of things, are the ladies. And we clap for them. If you offend a lady, oh my goodness, men, are you here? If you offend a lady, after 20 years, she will remind you in details. Even the place where that thing happened and what shirt you are wearing and what food they had taken that day. But men, short of memory, which is also good, forgive each other. Don't keep issues. Amen. Amen. Do you know there are so many people when they begin to solve a problem, one problem, a lady begins with a 1902 problem and says, Ile nili kusamehe, lakini si jesahao. Tuiweke hapa kwa tebo pia. Na ingine, ilitokia 1982. Na ingine, unakumbuka, hii mwaka ulitoka wapi, ulikuwa umetoka as mission, na ukakuja, na ulikuwa umevaa shati ya white. Na hiyo ni kama miaka kumi na tano. Forgive. The one who forgives is the one who gets healed. Amen? Amen? If you don't forgive, you are the one to suffer. Because the one you have not forgiven is not even aware. They are going about their business. Wanakula vitu vya, wanakula mahindi kwa barabara, wanapiga na mnai, wanaendelea na maisha. Lakini wewe ambao umeshikilia mambo, wendi unaumia. Forgiveness. Number three, the killer of marriage, promiscuity and adultery. Faithfulness is key in marriage. Praise be to God. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 32 and 33, But whoso committeth adultery with a woman lacketh understanding. He that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. A wound and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. We are living in a society today where promiscuity and adultery is celebrated. I pray that everyone listening to me today, you keep off from promiscuity. It has ruined many homes. It has brought many tears. It has brought many heartaches, sorrow, regret, and even untimely death. Amen. When there is any problem among you, those that are married, communicate and settle amicably. Confess and admit faults. Forgive and forget. Practice open forgiveness. 
Seek outside help and professional counseling. Say amen to the Lord. Amen. There is no sin that cannot be forgiven. There is no evil that God cannot wipe away. And so if there is nothing that God cannot do, then it means you can also forgive. There's nothing you cannot forgive. Say amen to Jesus. Amen. Say amen to the Lord. Amen. Number four. Number four. Is number four or number five? Number four. Another killer of marriage is personality clash among couples. God is a wonderful combiner. Amen. He will never put together two people who behave the same way. Good to see you, sir. He never puts together two people who behave, behave the same way. One time I was living in Madare Valley and my neighbor was from Kitui. When he is in the house, you will never know. But you will hear the wife. The wife was very loud. She was like the general manager of everything. Tena a story na iyo nyumba ingine ngamboi. Because our houses in Madare, you know how they are. You are in the middle. Hawa, wanaongea na hawa. Wadinda na. Na uya najiba, radinda neza na aku. Ona kwa radinda neza. Uwa wasiana. Na uwe uko katikati. Uwa nafikiri nilijua kikamba aje. Na mna iyo. Kidoba na weka musiki. Ya kakai kilonza. Mama was very loud. But mse aku anasikika combination ya mungu. Mungu analeta mwanaume hana mdomo haongei. Ama anaongea lakini sauti ni kama ya mwanamke. Habari zenu. Na mama naye habari zenu. Pia anaunganisha mtu ambaye ako very active. Very active and very very you know ni mtu anafikiria mambo makubwa. Muko na ye leo na anafikiria 2026. Na mama pia amempatia mama afikiri. Ako tu wapo. Mungu ni wajabu. Bwana asifiwe Mungu akileta watu wawili pamoja ambao are not compatible. It means the strong one must strengthen the weak. You don't have to regret. Na useme sasa ni kitu gani hii Mungu amenipatia? Mungu alichua. You need such a person. You are too strong. You need a weaker one. You strengthen the weaker one. Say amen to Jesus. Amen. Si ati kwamba ukifikiria na yana fikiria same you are not twins. Amuko zaliwa nyumba moja, kila mmoja amezaliwa kwao na mwingine kwao. Wewe unafikiri Ibrahimu akienda kutoa Isaac. Kwa nini akwambia Sara? Sara angekataa. Sara angekataa, angesema hiyo haiweze hata hata ufanye nini. Haitoneka. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Non compatibility personality clash among couples. You will never behave like twins in a house. Myself and my wife, my wife is a woman of few words. But me, I talk from morning to evening. She looks at me and when she speaks one word, it covers my a thousand words. That is me now. That's how God is. Say amen. Amen. Praise be to the name of the Lord. A woman is given a position of dominance and advisory. She dominates your world. She may not talk much, but it is only the woman, your wife. You know, sometimes when you're preaching, you look like fire. All right? Everybody fears. But it's only your wife who can tell you, please. She goes, Go slow. 
Say my amen. amen. And it's only your wife who can come. I believe we have dignitaries here. You do executive meetings. It is only your wife who can come to that office and remove you from an executive meeting. Nakwambe is very serious. It's very serious. Step out, kidogo. Utaruti. Na utaacha kila kitu. Na uambia wengine, excuse me, I have an email. An emergency. Na utoke hindi. Ama na mnaka ni mwesho mwa. Huyu mama yuko hapa. Ndiyaneza ingia kwa hiyo ofisi. Naseme, nataka boss. Na security waseme, kubekujua. Wana Yesu asifu sana. Na manamme ni mtu wa power, authority, decision making and leadership. You need to lead. Amen. Praise be to God. Number five, killer of marriage. Number five, killer of marriage, focusing on problems than focusing on God. We live in a world where we are faced with problems every day. We are faced with challenges every day. Even today, as we are seated here, we are people with challenges waiting for them in their homes. Waiting for them in their businesses. Waiting for them in banks. We have challenges every day. But the problem is not the challenge, but the problem is our focus. As a couple, never focus on your problems, but focus on God, who is the solver of the problems. Say amen. Number six. I've given to Malizia kwa six. Problem number six. He and I are in a wonga marriage is mingi. And becoming behaviors. And becoming behaviors or characters. And becoming. These are characters and behaviors that are bad and offensive. Amen. One of them is a character of anger. Makasiriko ya hofyo, hofyo. Baka uwezi kuelewa leo ataamuka vipi. Kwanza wanaume hawakuwa na hiyo shida zamani. Siku hizi wanaume ndio wananuna kwa manyumba. Saitan. Mwanaume nakataa kuongea na mke wake. Sababu tu ameulizwa swali. Amekasirika. Wiki mzima wanapitana. Mama anamuuliza, "Hawezi na?" Ananyamaza. Nikupumua. <sighs> Satan. Another problem is gluttony. Kukula zaidi kupita kiasi. Mama anakuvumilia ndio maana anakupelekea chakula bedroom. Wageni wakiwa. Anaambia wageni mzee ako sawa. Mbona mke wa mzee akujukula na sisi? Ah ako sawa. Ako sawa. Eh. Ya dumu kare. Mzee, ezawa. Umbelekewa bedroom, unafikiria ni upendo. Aha, unafichwa. Sabi ya vile unatafuna. Na vile unameza. Kama ni ukali, hata hakuna time ya kutafuna, inapita kuchupa. Shida ingine ni pride. Mutu, mutu ambaya mecha kiburi. Kiburi ikiwa ndani ya nyumba ni mbaya. Kuna kijana mmoja alikuwa na kiburi hata kwenda supermarket lakini lazima na supermarket ni hapa tu. Lazima aite Uber. Na sio yeye analipa. Mama ndiye analipa. Paka mama anapigia uh, pastor simu anasema nitafanyaje na kitu kama hii kwa hapo kwa hii nyumba yangu. Hata kutembea na tembea ni kama matope iko ndani ya nyumba. Msafi nguo zake hataki watoto karibu na yeye wataharibu na kuchafua nguo pride isiyo na maana stubbornness tomba yaelezeki laziness mtu anaamkanga saa sita. na akiamuka ni mkali kuliko chui dirtiness unasukuma mtu kwenda kuoga sisi tuongee hii maneno Tuonge ama hapa hawako, lakini wata tuonge kwa ajili ya kizazi kijacho. Hapa ni malaika, hakuna shida. Kuna watu unasukuma kuenda kuoga. Na suende uoge. Socks anafaa, socks kwa wiki mzima. Nguwa zandani anarudia karibu wiki tatu. Paka anafaa zingine zimesha pasuka. 
Ukimwambia si utoe hii, anasema nani ataona? <laughs> nani ataona? Ni siri yangu. Unajua ukisikia watu wamenyamaza hivyo kuna kitu inaingia. Mama, nyumba yako iko aje? Inje unakaa kama malaika. Ndani ya nyumba tunakutana na dasta kwa mlango. Ukiingia kidogo kikombe ya chai ya jana. Kienda hivi sahani. Kienda hivi socks. Kienda hivi kuna vitu na juu ya TV kuna handkerchief. Hiyo kazi yote ni ya mama. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Kuwa msafi. Mtawapa example moja na na usisikie kukasirika. Kuna wakati mmoja tuli alikuwa na ndugu mwingine pastor kwenda kwa nyumba yake. Mama akatupikia chai. Akapika chai mzuri na alikuwa na furaha sana. Na alikuwa amejifungua mtoto. So tulienda kutembea tupeleke zawadi kwa mtoto. Eh. Ye mwenye akakuja kutuwekea chai na akaweka shukari. Akiinama namna hii Maziwa inadondoka ndung ndani ya chai. Hakuna mtu alikunywa chai. Kila mmoja alisema niko sawa. <laughs> niko sawa. Anauliza dadis nimeweka chai kwa hii? Anasema mami thank you very much. Be careful on how you present yourself. Sinisikia amen kwa mama. Amen. Dirtiness. Lack of personal hygiene. Personal. Umai kutana na mtu. Anacheka na watu wote wanacheka. Na haku jino moja imefunikwa na maragwe. Ama imefunikwa na sukuma wiki. Au watu wawili. Au maragwe na sukuma wiki wanatabia mbaya sana. Wanaibishanga watu. Na unacheka. <laughs> watu wanaona hii ya ibu. Chukua meno. Piga marashi kidogo. Hello. Chana nywele. Kaa safi. Hata kama hakuna wageni. Kaa safi. Kiwa mama. Kaa safi. Na ukiwa mzee pia. Kaa safi. Praise be to God. Ah. Hizo amen azikuji. Amen. Fighting. Quarrelsome attitude. Lack of respect. Nagging. Chillers. Suspicion. Na suspicion pia unaweza ukadeal nayo because you don't have to provide space for suspicion. Mzee mmoja simu ikiingia ni ya mama yake na wamekaa na mke wake hapa. Anaipokea vizuri na unaongea vizuri anauliza we we mbwa. Huko we mbwa. Aye. Onako Onako kuitoe. We mbwa. Twende mesa. Salimia wajukuu anasalimia. Halafu si mwingine inaingia network inapotea. Sema halo, halo. Halo, halo. Na hiyo simu ni ile ile mahali ni pale pale. Anaondoka anaenda mpaka huko kwa gate. Hakuna network amepata network wapi? Unafikiri mwenye umeacha anafikiriaje? Si saa hii tu umechukua simu hapa. Sasa network imepotea. So una create something like suspicion. Bana Yesu asifiwe sana. Don't create suspicion. Walk in plain truth. Say amen. amen. Be truthful in all that you do. Let me finish. Another killer of marriage is punishment with sex. Sex is given of God. Don't use it to punish each other. Amen. Sex is accepted in the Bible and is accepted within the marriage cycles. Say amen. amen. Don't musinyimane. Musiwa wagumu. Musiwa kwamba sex ni ukifanya kitu fulani ndio nitakupatia. Ukinunulia nguo. Ah yeah yeah. Yo yo acha ni ni, ni. Niruke. Nenda jaribuwa niendeleza hidi ya kipimo. 
Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wacha tutosheke na hiyo. Amen. But kuna four pillars ambazo nataka uweke kwa moyo wako. Ambazo zitafanya jamii yenu isimame imara. Pillar number one, prayers. Let prayers be in the center of your marriage. Pray for each other. Pray for any occasion and anything that comes in your life. Prayer. When you pray, you deal with demons, you deal with spiritual forces and powers. You keep off anything that is destructive to your marriage. Prayer. A praying family stays together. A praying family will catch a vision of their future. A praying family will raise their children that are covered by the power of the Spirit of God. Number two, trust. Trust each other. Trust is cultivated. Cultivate the lifestyle of trust. If your wife asks you, where are you? You say exactly where you are. Don't be in the, in the category of people that we see today. You meet somebody on Koninanga Street. Na amechukua simu na anasema hako kericho. Hapa kericho ni mvua tu. Na anatembea na Koninanga Street. Pa unauliza na ujama uyu ni mfuate ni mubirie injili yama ni mjape. Bana hizu wa sifu sana. Trust. Trust each other. And then number three. Keep the word of God center in your marriage. The word of God. Man cannot live without the word of God. Cannot live with the bread alone, but by the, every word that comes from the mouth of God. Last but not least, love for each other. Love is cultivated. Cultivate love with the words of your mouth. When you wake up, build her with your words. Build him with your words. Amen. Praise her. Sing for her. You are a singer. Compose a song for her. In Jesus' name, glaze, in glaze. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then number two, build your love with actions. Upendo bila kitu. Pia ni, ni kama mkono mtupu. Haulambi. Upendo lazima inaambatana na nini? Na matendo. Nunuwa kipawa, mlete. Sema amen. Uzirudi nyumbani mkono mtupu. Mpende. Mi utoa mfano na sema, Utata ukiwa hauna pesa, lakini weu kona pesa. Hata kama naongea na wale ambao ni wa future. Hata kama hauna pesa. Tembea kikomba. Ambia wale vijana wa chagwe chagwe. Chukua kakitu. Na usibebe risiti. Letea bibi nyumbani. Unampatia na unamwambia. Soma lebo. Za kikomba, hakuna ile made in Kenya. Soma. Hiyo ni ya muingo. You made her? Muingo. Siku hiyo umeleta kipawa. News, the latest news utaona ni ya saa moja. Nimeachia hapo. Amen. Mengine nimeachia hapo? Hapo. Bwana Yesu wa sifu sana. Ours is to pray for you that the blessings of God will be with you and that God will protect and keep your marriage safe and keep your marriage to become a family tree that many people, generations to come, will be following that family and say, Hii ni lakini kuna ile clan. The family tree, the big tree of the Kasolo family clan. Say amen to Jesus. Stretch your hands as we pray in Jesus' name. Our dear Heavenly Father, I've shared briefly on what you put in my heart. I pray that every point we have shared today will find a place in the hearts of your people. Not only the newly wed, but even those that are here and they are married and their marriages are going through some challenges. I pray that Lord, by your spirit, minister to each family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that Lord, your, your spirit and your presence will be with this family all the days of their lives. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' name, we do pray.
Amen. God bless you so much. I really do appreciate. I want to hand over to the master of ceremonies. But uh, before that, there is a, there are a few pictures to be taken right here because some want to go. Amen. I hand over to you. God bless you so much. Amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is the father of the nation, Bishop Obonyo Wapi Makofi. You guys are not serious. Ladies and gentlemen, if you love what our bishop has done, wonderful, beautifully, Wapi Makofi, our bishop. Uh, Wapi Makofi, Masuri. And now, the hottest, we eh for the hottest, Yoni Wivo. For the hottest, for the coolest, Gota Kwanza. Allow me to appreciate all the men and the women of God, first of all. Can we put our hands together for all the bishop prophetess? Excuse me, to the Kwanza. Big any prophetess, Wangu Makofi. Hiya. Big any all the bishops and the pastors, Makofi Tafadali. This is great grace, gathering all the bishops and the pastors. So, to Piggy was as well to Makofi. Amen. Now, Sasa Trudy Kohapa. Ladies and gentlemen, for the hottest. Put your hands together for the coolest. For the hottest. For the newest. Couple in town. Mr. and Mrs. Stephen Casola. Abu Tingis and Eba Mulize. Ukona Wivu. Mutingis and Mulize. Kawena Weiru. Yoni Kikuyu. Kwa kika, muliza kwa kikamba uko na wivu Kama hauna wivu wapi nduri ya Mr. and Mrs. Kasolo Now our time is far much spent We say this is a royal wedding Sindio? Ile likuwe na trend juzi ya iko chini Hindi ya iko juu Sindio? Hai Sasa now If you are an artist Kafa that you just simama and wave If you are an artist I want to do it real quickly Kama weni msani tu simama Hapu ni pikisha picha Kama weni msani simama tu tu kupigia makofi Pigieni wasani wote makofi. Wote. Mimi sababu bishop na pastor mse, Reverend Msengu wamesema kujeni tu basi mpigwe picha moja tu. Pigie, si muarakise. Ilikuwa mtuende reception. But when the fathers you see there is a saying we say a suggestion of a father is a command to a son. Sindio? So their suggestion becomes a command to me. Am jambo. Am jambo tena. Ni umbie moyo safi. Ni umbie moyo mpya. Moyo wa kunyenyekea. Nakunyenyekea. Yesu aisieni wana. Hina Zitufanya ahadi za wana zimetimia Zimetimia ahadi ya maziku timia Mina furaia mungu kwa sababu hii safari lianza mbali Na ninashukuru mungu sana sababu ya Steven na Grace Ahadi za mungu zimetimia DJ ukinipatia yuimbo nitafuraia Na nikisema haya na sema asante sana kwa unit ya waimbaji Na ningeomba tu na jua tunaenda reception Lakini tunataka tukuzawadi zawadi yetu kama waimbaji ikuwe ya kwanza. Kwa hivyo nitaomba eh mtayarishe hiyo zawadi mara moja tu tukupatie zawadi. Tuna zawadi tunakupenda na tulikaa chini kama waimbaji tukanunua zawadi na tukasema tutakupatia wewe na Grace ikawe ya baraka kwenu. Kila siku mkiiona mnatukumbuka. Sina muna hiyo. DJ ukifanya maneno nitafurahia.
Pinga tu makofi tu pole pole. Kama unaelewa. Eh. Makofi kidogo 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 tu. Groomsmen nataka mkuje hapa. Pigieni MC Makofi Wana asifiwe na tuombe Tunagushukuru mwenyezi maana wame mungu Kuna lia kama wewe Nia sandi buwana maana umetuongosa Numeka pamoja nasi Nia sandi buwana maana tumekuona Mungu tunayenda kuchukua achakula Tunakuamba kapata kukitakasa Wakati tunayenda kukipokea Na nikatika jina na Yesu Kristo Tumeomba na atakushukuru Pigieni pasta wetu Makofi Sasa I want you guys to clear the aisle so ladies and gentlemen, my DJ, to end the week, I'm going to be a song in the car. Iyo. Haya, haya, haya. The ladies on the left, so the ladies on the left. What song is going on? What song is going on? What song is going on? The song is going on. Haya, haya, tuki toka kwanza. Iga mishkiria kidogo, kidogo, tuki dogo. Na tafadhali, pale kuna cocktail. Mutaenda kwanza unakunywa juice pale alafu ndio uende. Na mtu abebe kiti chake sababu viti zote tumeleta hapa sababu tuko wengi. Lakini kwanza cocktail peleke viti. DJ sasa kasolo. Tupe example reception itakuwaaje? Radio team reception mtu anaweza itakuwaaje? Saint Wendy Bell. Kasolo tuende pole pole kidogo. Saya mau coba. Kita energi, tuan. Aha. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Aha. Thank you. 